Hey y'all, this is Tina. Welcome to my channel, y'all. I am back. Um, I'm working on boxing up my swap. Um, so each one of the items that I am putting in the box, I need to wrap them, but I wanted to go through everything I'm going to be sending to my partner and then before I wrap them, of course, so that way you can see what I'm sending. Okay, so um, we had to send, we have to send 12 items for the 12 days of Christmas. So something for each day. We do have to number them as well. So let's just get going, okay? So one of the first things I'm going to send my partner, I won't wrap this one, I'll leave it this way. Um, and we have to send like a combination of store-bought and, and um, the runs that are handmade. So this right here is just a box that I purchased last year um, at Home Goods, I believe. And so I just went through my stash and just found goodies that I have in here. And I am adding in some little, little things. I added some pink shred at the bottom, but I have these guys right here. They're for a little Merry Christmas poinsettias. So adding those. So in our color combo um, is red and pink. Of course, everything can't be just that. You have to add in, you can add in other things, but um, we're trying to go with the theme of those colors. Um, I also am adding in these right here. I thought those were so cute. And then I have added in, I had a pack of these Santas and the pack wouldn't fit inside the box, so I took them out and I just added them in. So, just going to add that in. And that is going to be one of the gifts that I'm sending for my partner. Okay, um, if you watch my video with my tags that I was making, um, this is my tag flip. And I added mine on um, like, like these uh, vellum tags that I had purchased at Michael's. And the reason I did that is in case my partner wants to take them off, gently off of there and reuse everything that I put. So that's why I did that. As you see, I just put them on with a little foam tape and they can be easily removed. So I have my little jar of cookies. And then I have my the candy canes. As you see, it's on the vellum tag. And then the sweet, sweet um, reindeer. I love this so much. And then another peppermint or candy cane. I've got several of them in different colors. And then the figgy pudding. I love this one. So cute. And then um, we got a peppermint or a candy cane. Love this one too. Got a little gingerbread house. And we've got a couple more of the candy canes. And then on the back, I added in these candy canes on here. Now I just put all these on a book ring, as you see. And I had these in my stash. I probably got them a year or two ago at, at um on Amazon and then I just added some ribbon and so forth covered up the rubber band that I tied it off with some red and then there we go that's my tag flip another thing that we needed to include it was all crafters choice except you needed to include some kind of stocking it could even be a paper stocking or and and a tag flip with at least a couple of tags on it so um, this is, of course, if you watched my video the other day, this is the stocking that I sewed for my partner. And so I went ahead and I went through my stash because I buy like Christmas packs of things and I save them. And I went through my Christmas stuff and I pulled out some packs of Christmas goodies here. And I even added this made with love because I had two of them. And then I added gingerbreads. I have this one and then also this one. So I added them all on a book ring just so they would stay stay all together and they're just going down into the stocking. So that's the third thing. Now, um, I did not do a video on this, but I did purchase this big, I think this is a 40 ouncer. Let me look at the tag on the bottom. 
Yeah, I should probably take the tack off. Let me see. I think it's 40 ounces. It kind of looks like my my 40 ounce tumbler that I use. There we go. I take that off. Um, but what I did is I just used my Cricut Design Space and used my new favorite font. And I just put her name on it and I just added some ribbon on the handle. She'll probably take that off, but I thought it gave it something. Um, so that is another item that I will be sending to my partner. Okay, I'm going to go up just a little bit here. Okay, so another thing I'm going to send, I'm going to wrap this up, of course. I'm going to send her a pack of cards and envelopes. Y'all know I love the scallop, so I thought I would share a pack with her. I purchased these at Michael's last week, and so I am going to send a, um, a pack of those. So she, she makes beautiful cards already. So that's the fifth item that I will be sending. And then I will be sending this Holly Jolly um, little mini album that I created. Now, I did not create this like recently. I have a video, I believe, of when I created this, but I have kept it because I just made it for a video and I thought, you know what, instead of making another one, I'm going to send this one. Why? Because it's just sitting here in my stash of things that I have made. So I decided I'm going to send it on to my partner. So this was one of the the um, albums that you can buy that are already pre-made and all I did was decorate it. So you can see I added, it's got little pockets in here got some little pocket here and I had just decorated up all the pages and I love this I love this I'll see if I can find the video for this it was so cute and um, it's been a while so I'll see if I can locate the video if I can I'll link it below but this is the album and I thought I would send it on and um, yeah I enjoyed making this and it's so cute. So that's the sixth item that I have created. This is number seven. I'm sending her these clear stamps and I liked it because it said, oh, hello friend. And she's just the sweetest. I really think that hopefully she'll be able to use these in her card making endeavors. So I'm going to be sending her some stamps. If you watched my video last week, I made this cute little block and I made it look like a present. It says, Dear Santa, please bring pink presents. So, yep, I'm going to be sending that to my partner. Hopefully she can put it in her crab space or maybe on a tiered tray or something. Okay. The next thing is, and I had already created these. I went to my my bin of things that I had created and that I did not sell and I had one of these left. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to send one of these. I made these um, last year for my craft fair, and this is the one I had left. I added a cute little pom-pom on it, and I think it turned out just cute. So I'm going to send her a sweet Santa. Then I have, I made this little clipboard for her the other day. After I finished the video, I did add the words Santa on there. And I just thought I gave it something. And I put it in this clear bag right here. Just so everything stays nice and neat. So, let's see. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And then I also had created one of these. Uh, created some of these for my craft fair last year. And I had one left. I got out a new candy cane and added it in. And I thought I would send it on. Now, my partner, Julie, she does craft fairs. She might want to do something like this for her craft fair. So maybe it will give her an idea. And then lastly, if you watched my video last night... I created this super cute sign for her house or a tiered tray or whatever. I love the way it turned out. It turned out just precious. 
um, and I just really enjoyed making this as well. So anyway, this will be number 12. This will be the number 12 gift for my partner. So anyway, the only thing I've left to do is I need to make a card. So I will make that after I start packing everything up. So I need to make a card. And I also took some, these are like place card holders that I had in my stash. And I just went to my Cricut and I printed off numbers. It probably wouldn't have been just as easy for me to, um, print these out or cut, write them out or whatever, but I went ahead and printed on the numbers on them, one to 12. So once I wrap them, which I probably won't wrap the stocking, um, but I'll, and I won't wrap, I won't wrap that box. Everything else I'll probably wrap. So I'll put a number on everything. So when she opens, she needs to go or so are supposed to go in the order of the ones. That's what I would do. I would go in the order in order um, of the way of the numbers. So that way then number 12 is your final gift. So anyway, this is what I'm sending my partner. Now I'm gonna go ahead, take time to wrap things up. And I've been thinking about how I'm gonna pack this in the box because of this. This right here is, It is like 11 and 3 fourths of an inch by 11 and 3 fourths. So let me make sure it's by 11 and 3 fourths. Yes. So I have the large flat rate box. And I don't think that the flat rate box is going to hold all of this. So I think I'm going to take another box and I'm going to be um, putting this in there and make cutting down the box a little bit. And I think I will have that where it's kind of separate and then I'm gonna wrap them up um, with wrapping paper and I'm going to send it wrapped with wrapping paper. So anyway, I think that's what I'm going to have to do in order for me to get everything to fit in the box because the cup, the stocking, everything is, you know, it's gonna need a place, so. Anyway, I will um, get these wrapped up and we're going to go ahead and get them ready to put in the box. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I used tissue paper to wrap up everything and I put numbers on everything. Um, I've already got everything, of course, in the box, except this one. I'm gonna have to pack it differently. So I'm just going to be putting the stocking on top and then I'm going to be surrounding everything with with pink and red and white shred I still have to make a card today is Wednesday and I was hoping to get this in the mail today if not it will be tomorrow on my lunch break probably because I still need to make a card so anyway, I think it looks really pretty. I hope my partner enjoys it. And um, yeah, now once I get this mailed, I'll be able to open what she sent me. I just wanted to make sure I had mine sent first. So anyway, pretty excited about being able to see what she sent. Again, this is this one. I think what I'm gonna do is this is a 12 by 12 almost, like 11 and 3 fourths. The box is 12 by 12. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these boxes and I'm going to cut it down. And then I will put this inside the box. And then I think I will tape it on top of this box where they're taped together. And then I'm going to wrap it with some wrapping paper. I think that's what I'll do. It will also keep this safe as well. Anyway, that is it. I hope my partner enjoys this. Um, yep, she um, is a, so creative and I can't wait to open hers. I'm so excited. Anyway, that is it. I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.